Skull. 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 Oh dang, it's doing the echo thing again, right? Damn. That's what's soon. Hold on. Let's see, let's see. Guys, I'm back, man. I'm back. You know I'm ready to work. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's see what's going on. Jenna in the building. Let's go. My girl's in the building. Jenna's in the building. My good friend Jenna is in the building. Good day. Salute to Jenna Friday. Let's go. I don't know why this page is so slow. That's weird. <laughs> 420 salute. I don't smoke. So I don't mess with that. But good day 420. Whoever's puffing and smoking and swallowing that weed. Listen, if it cools you down, actually, I don't agree with that. I can't even say that. I don't agree with it. So, you know, as much as I'd like to, I just don't. As much as I'd like to say, do your thing, I just. As much as I'd like to, I just don't. As much as I'd like. You know what I mean? We don't. So, Jenna, what's going on with you, though? What's going on with you, Jenna? You good? Everything good? How's life? How's everything going? Huh? Huh? The family's in the building. How's everything going with you, Jenna? How's school? What's going on, family? We're gonna to talk today. We're gonna to talk. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. Good. How about you? Listen, I'm living. We're doing real well right now. We got a big team, organized, a lot of good people. School's good. That's it. I hope you passed that test that you were studying for. Yeah, no. I hope you passed that test you were studying for. But family, y'all good? Let's go. I hope you passed that test you were studying for. How's the film coming along? The film right now, everything is going really well with the film right now. We um. We got a lot of things going with it. A lot of things going, man. I don't know where to start, dude. I remember last episode I was talking a lot. Um, but we, we got a lot of stuff going with the film. Um, we're going out to PA two weeks from now. I think May 6th or something like that. May 6th, we're shooting out to PA, shooting out to a couple states. And we're going to be we're doing some scouting. I mean, we already got the locations we wanted already. Um, but we're going to be going around, talking to the police station. We get Just get everything lined up, man. We're getting everything lined up. There's going to be four of us. I'm filming that, too. We already started filming behind the scenes for this film. We already started. So everything is going really well with that, with the film and stuff. Guys, am I lagging? I just want to come on here and spread some love. Real quick. Let me see what's going on. So yeah, no, but the film's going really well, man. Um, I don't know why this page, this is so weird, bro. Hmm. I don't know, that's weird. The film's coming along really well, though. Um, like I said, we're going scouting for the film. I mean, like I said, we got the location, we're going scouting, we're going to talk to the police station, talk to a couple people, we're shooting out to PA, May 6th. Me and a few of the crew members, mainly the main people for the film, which will be like um, the cinematographer, my assistant writer, I love that dude. Um, I'm going to be actually co-writing my next film with him. Um, him and I are going to be co-writing that. Uh, that's a dope film. Next feature film, y'all going to see. It's, it, it's, it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm writing something. I got a surprise for y'all. I'm writing it right now. There we go. Um, okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Uh, like I was saying, so we got a lot of things coming. Um, the film right now, the script is of course done. We had our first table read. Jenna, that was dope. I don't know if you saw that. I got a live stream on that. Um, table read was dope. We had a lot of people um, come through, about nine of us all together. Uh, thank you for giving us a video a thumbs up. Whoever's watching, go ahead and do that, man. Show some love. Y'all, I'm back in the building. New videos coming out. Guys, I've been just so focused on this film. Uh, it's hard. It's, it's hard to balance everything, but I'm doing it, man. Nothing in life is hard. It's easy. Nothing. Success is not easy to achieve so of course it's gonna be hard but i've been grinding man i'm telling you i've been grinding um i have work and on top of that i got a girl on top of that i got the film 
um, and in which I'm the director and head producer. So I got to organize everything. Everything got to be organized, but we doing it, man. No excuses. I got a professional baker to bake the cake for this movie. We have a birthday scene in the movie. And um, she's doing a phenomenal job. Shout out to her. She's going to be baking the cake for the movie. So there's a birthday party scene in the movie. I can't tell you what happens. But we have a professional store that's going to be baking the cake and uh, making any type of cake we want. And the cake is going to be a camera. So we're going to make um, a camera cake. Basically, the cake's going to look like a camera. And that's that's dope because that's one of the essential tools in the movie. I'll give you that. A camera, the, cam- uh, uh, the camera that's in the movie is a very important tool. And the cake is going to be a camera, man. So I'm going to take pictures of that and show you guys and post that stuff. Uh, website out now. If you didn't see it, go check it out. I'm definitely going to be updating the website with new pictures that we got and all that to let y'all see. Because I want you guys to stay up there. I just want to keep you guys updated all every step of the way. So we got a lot of stuff coming. Where's bad guy? Where's my people, man? Let me see. Let me type this in. If you guys did not see the website, go check it out. That's it. I typed it. I'm not sure if you guys see the, type, the chat room. But go check that out. My website's out now. I'm going to be updating it. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting down different different um, updating with different pictures and stuff like that. Like I said, I got behind the scenes camera lady. She's nice, and she's gonna be helping us out. She's definitely gonna be helping us out. So we got a lot of cool stuff coming. I'm going there next two weeks. There's so much. I'm trying to be careful what not to say um, or what to say. So basically, uh, let me see what else I can tell you before we move on and start talking about today's topic. What else can I tell you about the film without giving anything away? So like I told you, that's a little sneak peek. I'm not going to lie. If everyone is coming and get this video a thumbs up, man. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Give this video a thumbs up if you're just coming in. Welcome, everyone. We're going to talk a little bit. We're going to talk. All right. So like I said, uh, the film is coming out, guys. It's on its way. It's official. I'm going around trying to get clearance for different uh, courts and basketball courts and clearance for these buildings. I've been running around all day today. That's so why I'm a little tired. Um, but we, we're getting clearance on everything. We got a lot. I got people sending me different messages. I'm t- I swear this thing is so organized. And that's why we got the behind the scenes woman that she's recording. Shout out to Carol. She's my BTS. And we just getting everything organized, man. May 6th, we out. We all going to PA. It's going to be a fun trip. Four or five of us. Me and my boy D. That's like my right hand man, D. Devin, shout out to you, man. That, that's that's my right hand, man. And, and the actor, too, D. That's another one of my boys. He's in Thailand right now um, having fun. When he comes back, him and I hitting the workout together. I want him to be in shape for the movie. He's in the movie. He's playing Ogie, guys. Remember that name? He's playing the character Ogie. His name is Devin. And then my other boy, Devin, the one I was saying is my right hand, man. He's my assistant writer. Amazing writer, yo. His skills are ridiculous. And just his an unwillingness to, to, to continue to help me. You know what I mean? Um, willingness rather to continue to help me, and um, I, I mean, he was turn on the for but I mean, him just wanting to help me non stop and continuously always wanted to put in put in an extra hand and go the extra mile is amazing. So, I'm definitely gonna be co writing my second film with him, and it's gonna be him and I on that project, and we're gonna kill that. So, he's doing an amazing job. He's actually gonna be cooking, helping us cook on a set. He's from the Caribbean, so he's gonna be cooking. So, I'm gonna do behind the scenes of that and show you guys some of the food that we cook on there. What's your movie called? The movie, the name of the movie is called The Birth of Deceit. Guys, I want y'all to look out for this. I'm submitting to Netflix. I've been doing this for years, film. And uh, you can't watch it yet, Amy, because uh, I'm filming it. I'm going to be filming it in August, man. I'm ready. This is my first feature film. I did 15 short films. We'll be watching one tonight, actually. Another short film we'll be watching tonight. Uh, let me see. I'm going to show y'all another film tonight of mine. So, every, like I said, every time I go live... Or rather, actually, it won't be tonight. It'll be Sunday. Sunday when I go live, I'll be showing y'all another film of mine. Um, Oh, we'll watch it tonight. I don't care. Y'all vote. Y'all vote. Let me know. I'm hyped already. Oh, yo, Amy, thank you. I don't know who you are. But just like I said, there's not a lot of people supporting people out there, man. That's what we need. We need more people supporting people. And I support you just for coming on here. You don't know me from a hole in the wall. And you coming to support somebody that's doing something positive. That's the kind of people we need in this world. Positive minds attract positive things. Negative minds attract negative things. A negative mind cannot attract positive things. And we need people like Emmy that's going to support people just because they're doing something positive. So I respect you, man. Thank you so much. New addition to the fam. Exactly. New addition to the fam. So, 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 salute to you. It says, it's not Emmy. It's Ernie. My eyes are bugging. Whoa. His name is Ernie. I said Emmy. Is it Emmy or Ernie? Wait. The, the R looks connected to the N, which it looks like it's an M, but it's not. I think it's Ernie. Ernie, yeah. So thank you very much. But my movie basically is a psychological thriller. I want you all to go on the website and check this out. I've been talking about this. Yeah, I come to your streams, but I'm shy though to talk. Don't worry about that, brother. Ernie, don't worry, man. Don't worry. Listen, 
everyone has uh, things about themselves that they don't like. You feel like you're shy. Look, now you eventually stepped up. Everything takes time in life. Everybody wants things so fast. Everybody, everybody wants things to come so fast. Everything takes time, and that's proof. There you go. It took time for you to speak up. Now you finally spoke up, man. Thank you for coming to my live. I appreciate that so much, man. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, everybody that's watching. We're going to get into it tonight. I'm not sure how many of you guys watch boxing or know anything about boxing, but we're going to chop it up tonight. I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about how big this weekend is. This is a very big weekend. A very big weekend. We got a lot. We got a lot going on. All right? So here we go. Here we go. Like I said, the film, before we get off that topic, go to my website, ajapungfilms.com. Go now. Get this video a thumbs up, guys. Share this video. Let's influence some people to reach their dreams and achieve their dreams, too, if I can help in any way. We got to do that. We got to do that. Because the more people that achieve their dreams, the more innovative. Or, or the, the, I, I guess you can say people tend to innovate we did, the more we tend to inspire people to be more innovative and create things man so a lot of people want to do things that people haven't achieved before um i want to be the first director to win as many oscars as possible you know anything bring the awards my way i'm trying to achieve dreams i'm trying to tell stories and from a different perspective where we have female leads black female leads hispanic female leads asian female leads you know what i mean just different stuff uh caucasian as well just switch up different stories and, and diversify film um as we see in get out as we see in black panther and, and other films, right? So I want to diversify things, change things, and um, make everyone a good guy, make everyone a bad guy. Just switch up everything, switch up everything. I want to play that kind of role in the film industry and just make a huge impact. But most of all, regardless of color and switching and diversifying, the most important thing is to tell stories that touch people and resonate with people. And that's what I want to do the most. Um, not just make movies about slashing and killing, but actually stories that resonate with you. And that's why my films, I try to make, um, I, I try to make my films do that. The short films that I have made, and I want to show one. I want to show one um, Sunday. I'm gonna show one. I'm gonna show one of my short films Sunday or tomorrow. It's gonna be throughout this week as it's looking, but most likely it will be Sunday. It will be Sunday, most likely. I may go live a little earlier, but make sure y'all stay and watch that. What you think of Broner and that rapper guy going at? It? Oh, we're gonna talk about that. Takashi six nine. We're gonna yo Ernie. We're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that. I just want to keep y'all updated because I'm telling you, I'm so amped about this movie. I wish I could show y'all a picture. I took pictures of the basketball court that we're going to be playing at. It looks like Venice Beach. Basketball court is crazy. It's, it's going to be shooting August 20th. It's going to be hot outside. And I'm telling you, I'm going live. Stay with me on this one, y'all. Because I told you, it's going to be the same face. Maybe a little older. Same face, a year or two older. But the whole background of my surroundings are going to change. And that's the power of following your dreams. You're going to see a beautiful house. My, my lady will be here. Um, new mics, everything. And when you follow your dreams, you're rewarded, whether that be with money, with knowledge, anything. And I'm telling you, same face, but different environment. You're going to see your environment change. When you follow your dream, it'll be the same you, but your environment will change. The people around you will change. You start to surround yourself with more positive people. Your money going to go up. So things like that. So just keep following your dreams and your dreams will come true. And that's what we're doing. And I'm just happy. I've never been this happy in my life. I'm telling you, honestly, man, I surrounded myself with positive people, hardworking people. And, 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 and you see what happens when you do that. I'm I'm telling you guys, I, I, it's proof in the pudding. Surround yourself with positive people, hardworking people, and you're gonna see the difference. The film is going so smooth, it's ridiculous. I never had a smooth run, a, a, a movie run this smooth before, so I'm stuttering. But yeah, I just wish you guys were there behind the scenes, but luckily we have someone behind the scenes to film all this that's doing it, and it's cool. We're taking a trip that's three hours away just to scout for locations, man. I used to beg people to come when I used to do films, yo, you want to come with me to just go up the block to do this? And I found myself doing all this stuff alone. And that was a bad team. And, you know, it's no shade to them or anything like that. But it just wasn't people that were able to work with me. Actors and different people behind the scenes and crew and stuff like that. Lazy people. So you got to switch up your circle and make sure you get with the right circle so you can reach success. Start hanging out with people that look more like your future and less like your past. So the people you want to be there, you want to be a millionaire, you want to be a billionaire, you want to be a, 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 you want to get your doctorate, hang out with people that are smart and have doctorates so they show you how to get to the doctor and what routes to take. You want to be a millionaire, hang out with people that know how to get to the money the right way, legally, how to double up and triple their money. Educated people that are going to teach you something. Don't move with losers. You move with four losers, you're going to be the fifth. So there's a lot of lessons that I learned and it all came together with this film and it shows. That's why I'm so happy. I mean, we got makeup artists that ridiculous, got their own websites. They, that's what they do for a profession. I got audio dudes. That's what they do for, for, for a profession. This movie's not even going to stream on YouTube. I'm going to show the trailer on YouTube, but we're going to drop the movie on Amazon, Netflix. We're going to Festival Sundance. We're going to do all that stuff. And it's a crazy film. Like, I, I'm telling you, we're shooting on a C500, C200, one of them Canon cameras, 4K RAW. 
Uh, we got the Ronin. We got the, uh, the the Easy Vest. We got so much equipment. The Ninja Inferno with the Terra Deck. I mean, we we wilding out. This film we wilding out. So. I want y'all to just keep watching me, man. You're going to see the rise. Just keep watching. You're going to see. We got a lot of stuff coming. It's it's ridiculous the amount of stuff we have coming. I got an AC. I never had an AC. I have an AD. I have someone that's sketching the, the what do you call it, the storyboard. I got someone sketching it. So is your show coming on net coming on Netflix 4K? I promise it is. Uh, it, it's, it's this movie, next movie. One of my movies is hitting Netflix, man. And we aiming for this one. This is my breakthrough movie. This is the movie that's opening the doors. Plus, I got a friend that's in the industry, Oscar Award winning, Oscar nominated director, Yancey Ford. That's a good friend of mine. And I'm actually going to lunch with him next month. Um, and he's teaching me the ropes and Netflix and the industry and all that stuff. And they're trying to open the door for me, man. So I'm happy. Um, and we're going to get the movie on Netflix. And when it comes on, I'm doing a live right here and say, y'all, guys, all these years, go back to my videos years ago when I said one day I'm going to do it. One day I'm going to get on Netflix. I made it. I made it on Netflix. My movie's on Showtime, and eventually it's going to go... To, I'm telling you, one day it's going to be in theaters. Like, yo, my movie's coming to theaters. It's going to be out June 20th. I'm going to be talking like that. And when I talk like that, it's just going to be a phenomenal time, and it's going to be surreal because I'm actually saying what you want to happen. You got to speak it, receive it. Speak it, speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. And, um, I mean, me just saying that and then letting it happen and watching it occur is going to be a dream because so far, you know, I said I'd do a feature film. I remember saying it, but I'm like, damn. Can I do a feature film? Can I do a full-length movie? Like the people in the movie theaters, like Netflix, can I? In the back of my head, you know, everyone has their doubts. But um, I always said, you know, I can do this. I can do this. But I still was a little doubtful. Proud of you for your dreams coming true. Thank you, Ernie. And I'm sure you got dreams. Ernie, what, what's your, some of your dreams? Brother, share them with me. What's some of your dreams? I want to hear this so I can motivate you and maybe I know something about it. But you know, so I'd say I can do a feature film. It's going to be tough, man. The money. I just kept thinking of money. You know, because I'm not rich. So I'm like, then it's probably going to be thousands and thousands. Of I don't know how much it's probably like $40,000. It wasn't 40000 It was a lot. I'm not going to lie. It cost a lot of money, but it wasn't 40000 There's always ways around things. The way to be successful that I learned so far with this feature film. And like I said, I'm not the most successful person in the world, but I'm striving to get there to be uh, at least successful in my own eyes and deem one of the best film directors in the world. And I'm working towards that. And the way to be successful and the way I'm getting there so far is organize. If you strategize and organize, you will get there. If you're sloppy and lazy and you quit, you will not get there. And that's what I noticed. Each and every day I'm on top of this thing. I got my foot on this movie's neck and I'm just watching it come together slowly. My cast, my extras, I got... Like, it's just so organized. It's ridiculous. We got rehearsals with the basketball players on a certain day that I'm going here. We're going to do rehearsals. I'm running drills with them. I mean, basketball players, not my friends from the coffee shop. It's not that kind of thing. Not my friends from school. Real basketball players, college D1 basketball players, ex overs people that used to play overseas, like in a professional league, those kind of basketball players. So the movie's going to be crazy. Actors, SAG. Um, my company's registered with SAG now. Like I got, it's just so many things, man. It's just so organized. My boy's going to a meeting tonight to pr promote our company. I'm, I'm supposed to be in New York City tonight, but I canceled to do this. And then I got to see little mama after this. And I got to send some stuff, emails. So I have a lot to do, but we went to the other one. Then all of us are going to the one in May. It's just, everything's organized. So the moral of the story is guys, shout out to my boy D. He's in the city right now promoting the company. D, if you're watching this real quick, just keep promoting. And all that, keep doing your thing. Thank you, brother. But the whole moral of the story is, guys, surround yourself with positive people and people that are gonna grind, people that are gonna push you. If people in your circle are not pushing you to be better and you gotta keep pushing them, that means you're in the wrong circle. If people in your circle are not pushing you to be better and you have to keep pushing them, that means you're in the wrong circle. You should not be with those people, man. Surround yourself with people that look more like your future and less like your past. Remember what I said. Surround yourself with people that look more like your future and less like your past. And that's the moral of the story. That's Yao's motivation for the night. Now, let's get to today's topic, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to today's topic. I love movies. That's why I can't get away from that topic. I keep talking about it. But my second love, apart from movies, almost neck and neck. Well, not. I won't say, I won't say neck and neck. But my second love is boxing. Those that know me. I love boxing, man. That's one of my favorite sports. It is my favorite sport. It is my favorite sport. Boxing is my favorite sport. And there's a fighter. He goes by the name of Adrian the Problem Brona. I should play some clips. Let me see. Y'all want to see some clips of Adrian Brona so y'all know who I'm talking about? Or you just want me to keep talking? Jenna, whoever's on here, let me know. Y'all want to see some clips of the guy I'm talking about? Or y'all just want me to keep talking? Let me know because I want y'all to know who this guy is. Clips. All right. Jenna's asking for some clips. So let me show you who this guy is. He's a boxer, but he's not your ordinary boxer. 
He is not your typical boxer. Adrian Broner is not your typical boxer. All the hair in my mouth. He's not your typical boxer. Um, let me check my emails real quick. Y'all bugging. I'm waiting for my makeup artist to write me back. We got to close the deal with her. We close the deal with everyone else. She's the last one. So far, it's going well, though. Well, I got to admit. She's going to be doing the prosthetics, all that stuff. The gunshot wounds. We got police lights. I got badges. I think my badge came in the mail today. Take a look. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Look at that badge, baby. So the badge is going to go right here. Like, the, you know, the police thing, the gold one? Real badge. Look at that, boy. Look at that. Look at that, boy. The, could you believe this little dirty, foolish leather clip thing was like freaking $55 for this stupid thing? But, I mean, if you want something in your movie to look authentic, you got to spend money. So look at that. We got the clip on. I'm going to have the police officers in my movie. We have detectives in the movies. They're going to clip it on their waist, and we're going to have the badge right here. It's going to be shiny, the real one, man. They're going to clip it on the waist. We got the authentic guns, and we're shooting in different stores. We're shooting in 4K Raw. I'm so, oh, my God, bro. Movie's so authentic. Wait till y'all find out. I mixed up Narcos and Breaking Bad and everything with this joint. Yeah, this thing's real leather. I don't know. I guess that's why it's 55 or maybe they ripped me off on eBay. I don't know, but I got it. I got it from Amazon. So, I don't know. $55 leather. It's a clip, and I ordered that with the badge. So, all of it comes together. The badge the this thing and the little chain that they th throw around the neck so we got all that and i'm probably gonna let them wear it later on in the movie or we'll throw give it to another text because we got police officers in the movie it's gonna be sick we got some extras man with the guns y'all gonna see we got the light scheme they're gonna have the guns at night going into the house the house is gonna open up yo some dope 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 we're gonna get the car mount because it's a, a scene where they riding the car i'm telling you i'm going all out behind the scenes wait till i see behind the scenes of this movie just wait i'm, I'm getting i got the helmet i should show y'all the helmet let me, let me show y'all the helmet hold on Look at this. Look, look at this. Hold on. Ooh, what's that? Oh, no. Let me show y'all this. Let me, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this. Look at that, boy. Look at that, boy. Look at that, boy. We got the helmet. So basically what this is, is a helmet. That's what that is. This, this is a... This is a helmet. I don't even know how to. How you? How's she supposed to wear this? Hold on, yeah. I think we we did something wrong. I don't know, but she gonna wear it like this. Y'all see? She gonna wear it like that. I didn't wear a helmet in so long. I don't know who wears helmets when they ride bikes. So we got the helmet. So basically, there's a bicycle. A bicycle. There's a bicycle scene in the movie, so I had to go buy a helmet. And I don't want to explain why I got the helmet. I'm so long, so I'm starting to give away the movie. I need to chill. But y'all gonna see. We got the helmet. Um, we got the helmet, as you can see, and and it's dope. This is only 15 bucks. That's good. Could you believe it's 15? I'm thinking, y'all, I'm about to look for helmets. About to be two dollars. The joint's 15 dollars for a helmet. Nobody wears helmets when they ride bikes. Why y'all sell this? Why you sell this for 15 dollars, man? I don't, I don't know. But that's 15 dollars. That's $15. We got the helmet scene. So we're going to have the truck with the big camera, the movie camera. We're going to be hanging outside the truck or the car, lower the windows. My man, or the, my video guy is going to put the thing out, the camera outside the truck while we ride slow. And she's going to be, the main character is going to be on a bicycle riding in her old neighborhood. I don't want to give it away. And then we got the audio dude. He has the whole vest with the big audio stuff. The track sound devices track is going to have the audio booming outside the joint. Yo, sign the joint. It's so sick. I don't, I don't want to give it away, but this is official movie, man. We submitting to Netflix. And that's why I'm so ready and I'm so confident because the amount of stuff we have for this movie surpasses by far any movie I've ever done. And it all took time, man. All You know what I mean? It all took time to learn. I was doing other movies. I'm like, yo, how come I'm feeling these movies are not hitting big? Are they not hitting big? Because God's going to test you before he blesses you. You got to wait. That's the thing people don't understand. You're going to get tested before you get blessed. You're going to have to fail. You're going to catch L's. You're going to keep catching L's. You're going to keep catching L's. Who knows? This movie I'm doing now can be an L. You see what I'm saying? You don't know when your big break is coming. But as long as you stay positive, you keep grinding, one day, one of your movies will hit. One of your projects will hit. One of your, you're going to get your degree one day. You're going to pass. You're going to get out that hard at you, you, the finances and all that. You're going you're gonna to see money one day, whatever that you want. You'll achieve. You just have to keep grinding and believe. This movie, though, I believe is the hit. This is the one. And I'm excited, man. I'm so excited. That's why I can't stop talking about it. I can't even start today's topic because I keep thinking of that movie.
Like, I, I just can't. I don't know what's wrong with me, dog. I eat sleep this movie. As soon as I get off of this, I'm going back to that movie. The script is ridiculous. I never wrote anything like this before. I never wrote anything like this before. But I'm about to show y'all who Adrian Broner is. Um, this is explicit language. I, I'm just letting y'all know. I'm just letting y'all know. Hold on. This is explicit language. I'm going to say it one more time. So excuse me for my viewers that are little babies. Whoever's watching, like the little kids, yeah. But what I'm about to show y'all is explicit in terms of the language. But this is Adrian Broner. A lot of you may not know who Adrian Broner is. He's a phenomenal, phenomenal boxer, and he's a boxing phenom, right? In in boxing, very well known. Uh, mainly, I'm gonna say I'm not trying to play you, AB. His nickname is AB, Adrian Broner. But um, he likes to use that acronym for other things such as about billions, about billions, meaning like about money. He's about not a million dollars, but he wants to reach a billion. So that's like his nickname, AB, about billions is his company. Um, and he's, he tried to copy off of Floyd Mayweather, kind of. Um, and I, I can't even say kind of. He tried. The only thing he didn't get well is uh, Floyd Mayweather's record. He didn't copy that too well. Um, unfortunately, Adrian Broner lost three times. One to Marcos Maidana, two to Sean Porter, and three to Mar Mikey Garcia, right? Those are boxers. They all whooped his ass. I'm just letting you know that right now, all right? I want to let you know that off the back. Adrian Broner lost to all of them. Now, Adrian Broner is making a comeback. Um, every fight that he ever had, he always kind of self-promotes it. A lot of people don't like him, Adrian Broner, because he, he has a lot of mess-ups. He has a lot of mess-ups, Adrian Broner. He has a lot. He has a lot where he um, puts himself in a lot of trouble with the law and just stupid stuff in the clubs with crazy stuff with women and cheating on his girl and messing with strippers and recording it. They put it on World Star. So he doesn't have any sponsors, of course. That messed him up. But Adrian Broner was seen as a troublemaker and kind of still is. And now he's trying to get out of that light, come back and be serious with boxing. He kind of went under Floyd Mayweather's wing. He was under Floyd's wing for a little bit, but then Floyd kind of fell back from him. I guess Floyd was tired of dealing with him. But now Adrian Broner is making a comeback. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see. So now I'm going to show you a clip of Adrian Broner, his most recent clip, him speaking at a press conference. Adrian Broner, his most recent clip, him speak at a press conference. And tell me what y'all think about it. Tell me what y'all think about it. All right. This is it. What y'all think about it. Tell me what y'all think about it. All right. This is it. What y'all think. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is Adrian Broner, ladies and gentlemen, speaking. This has nothing to do with me. I tell you, it's explicit. I warned you. It's going to be crazy. I warned you, though. It's going to got nothing to do with me. Let me see. Adrian Broner. Guys, I'm dying for some ice cream again. Y'all remember that live stream I went for the ice cream? I don't know why I like ice cream so much, bro. Who else like ice cream in here? Am I the only dude that likes ice cream this much? This is like a sickness. If you can die from ice cream, the doctor said whoever eats ice cream can die, and it was something lethal. I would have been going a long time ago. Long time ago. I feel like eating ice cream tonight, but I'm waiting for the fight. I'm not gonna eat the ice cream, wait for a fight. All right, y'all ready? Here it goes. Here's Adrian Broner speaking at his most recent press conference. This Saturday, which is tomorrow, he'll be facing Fernando, not Fernando, I'm bugging. Um, Something Garcia, I forgot dude, no, something Vargas. What is his name? Jesse Vargas. He's going to be facing Jesse Vargas, which is a really good boxer. But Adrian Broner is who everyone has eyes on. He's the main event of tomorrow's fight. Boxing has turned into the WWE um, in terms of how entertaining it is, and everyone loves it. So, and sometimes, I guess you can say also how much people clown, but I love it. It's just so entertaining now. Uh, here we go, guys. Here's Adrian Broner, most recent, recent press conference, and this is why a lot of people will be tuning into tomorrow's fight. Here we go. I don't think y'all hear that, do y'all? It's a chance to, you know, uh, it's like a parlay, you know? Just the last win, and, and it, it can take me, it can just the last take win, me, you know what I'm saying? So it can take me, you know, you can, uh, I know you're training hard, I ain't worried about that, you know. Uh, I'm ready, bro. I'm ready to fight. We can fight right now with the little people I got here. I know we gonna win. We out. Jesse, I was reading something and you said 
Yeah, was really yeah. Adrian's had problems when he stepped up to welterweight. He did too. He, he, he didn't win his fights when he stepped up. You are, you've been fighting at welterweight for a while. Do you believe he, because, he lost. because you're a full-fledged welterweight, that's an advantage for you in this fight? Definitely. I, I do feel that I have an advantage. I am the taller fighter. I am the stronger fighter. Uh, the more experienced fighter. And not only that, but the full-grown welterweight. I feel very comfortable leading into this fight. I'm ready for Victor. What's your response to that? I don't want to hear none of that shit. When you stepped up and you fought Timothy Bradley, you lost. When you stepped up and you fought Pacquiao, you lost. So shut that shit up, bitch ass nigga. So what I'm saying is this. I'm a four-time world champion. I've been world champion in 47 before. So I don't want to hear nothing. Quit, quit talking about all the losses. You ain't them. You got to beat me first. No homo. Come on, man. Get up out of here, man. What will a win Saturday night against a quality fighter like Jesse do for you in your career going I hope y'all give me credit. I hope y'all just throw it under the rug because I'm going to beat his ass. I hope y'all just get, give me the credit that I deserve. I, that, that's all I want. And I know all y'all against me. Him right here, Leonard Alabama against me. They, they, they with this bitch ass nigga. Leonard a bitch ass nigga too. First can, time, you, you don't disrespect me like that. Man, shut up. You ain't with me. You ain't with me. I'm you with Jesse. I'm with Mayweather Promotions. You with, oh, yeah. You ain't with me. And this, I'm a real one. I'm and, a real one. And this isn't about me. You guys got to fight. Yeah, all right. Shut night. that soft ass and shit the best, up. And the best man Shut that soft, that's some soft ass shit. Shut that soft ass shit up. All that soft talking. I know you can do it, man. You got the, you got the. Man, shut that soft ass shit up. Man, so, you ain't with me. How about this? If you're victorious Saturday night. I'm going to be victorious. What's the future? I know they all against me. When this is what they want. They want AB. They want AB to go out. They don't want me to, they don't want me to be, they don't want me, they don't want me to be in nice cars. They don't want me to be in Rolexes. They don't want me to be in APs. They don't want me to be in private jets. They want me to lose this fight, go up under the rug, and never be talked about again. They don't want me to, they don't want me to see, see the top of my pinnacle. But guess what, man? I train my ass off. I'm not losing to no Jesse Vargas, man. Y'all got me fucked up. With a victory Saturday, when do you see Adrian Brandt Broner as a world champion again? Or do you of just course. want to be in I'll, big time listen, fights? Four time world champion, soon to be five time world champion. Like I said, 2018, I'm taking over, man. And it starts with Jesse Vargas. Like I said, like I said, Leonard, you ain't with me. Jesse, we'll wrap it up with this. What happens I'm about Saturday billions, night? man. I'm about billions. Saturday night, you're going to see a great show. We're going to have three great fights. None of y'all will be here. For only four, my team. What you mentioned, you know, and uh, we're going to top it off with the main event. It's going to be all fireworks, as Charlo just said. And, you know, come and be entertained. Enjoy a good night of boxing. And I will be victorious. Come out, y'all. In the new mecca of boxing, Barclay Center here in Brooklyn, 9 p.m. Eastern on Showtime Championship Boxing. We will now face off the fighters. Wow. In the big wow, so, shut that song. Wow, your career. Boy, he is that boy blazed him. I ain't gonna front. Adrian, bro, he blazed him. That joke was funny. I ain't gonna... But it was disrespectful. And that's what I didn't like about it. That's, that's the thing I didn't like what, about what Brona did. I, I, I couldn't take that. Just disrespecting somebody that's older than you. Talking like that. It was mad hood. And all. I, I, I couldn't take that, man. The repetitive, repetitive use of the, 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 the N-word, that thing threw me off. It was very nasty and disgusting. And, that, and that's one of the reasons why I was really looking forward to Adrian Broner losing so many times, man. Like, I was kind of happy. It's almost 2 a.m. here, but I'm glad to be here. Yeah, shout out Chizzy, man. Yo, everyone shout out my boy Chizzy. He's always supporting me. Always supporting me from Nigeria. My boy's all the way from Africa. And I'm coming back there, by the way, Chiz. Um, not now, of course. We finished the documentary, but... I'm going to Kansas next week for my second documentary, but that's besides the point. I'm coming back there, though, Chiz. I'm going to shoot out there. I'm going to shoot out there again, baby. We're going to see you again. I'm going to put you in the movie. I'm going to fly you out to L.A. And that's, Chiz, you got my word on that. Remember, when this movie blows up, the birth of deceit. Guys, I remember. Remember. Listen, y'all think this is a game. Y'all playing with me right now. Y'all got me amped up. Hold on.
I'm going to type the name of my movie so y'all know. You speak it, believe it, receive it. When you speak something, you receive it. You believe it, you receive it. Brona does have a mouth, though. Brona has a mouth. The Birth of the Seed. That's the name of my movie. Chiz, you flying out to L.A. with us. I'm going to invite you to my house. You already know my girl already, so it's cool. We're going to eat dinner. We're going to chop it up with the whole family. You're going to stay at my house. Cool. And then you, you're going to send you back to Africa, baby. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. But check this out. Brona has a mouth. He does. Brona has a big mouth. That's the thing. I kind of like it. And then I don't like it. Why? Let's talk about why I like it. Now, Jenna, you said it too. Jenna, you said it. You said Broner has a big mouth. He sounds like he's going to lose. He does talk a lot, but Broner can fight. Let, you, do you guys want to see his highlights real quick? Y'all want to see Bro, Adrian Broner's highlights real quick? I'll show you a little bit of highlights. If y'all want to see it, let me know. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all, like, like he bro, don't sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, Broner got hands. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and act like he doesn't. Broner has hands. Broner can fight. Broner can fight. I'll show you how well he can fight. I'll show you. Broner can fight, and we can't, we can't sit here and lie. You guys gotta tell the truth. You gotta tell the truth. You gotta tell the truth. This was oh five years ago. Oh no 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 no. We don't want to see that. We want to see something more recent. Let's see this. Broner can fight. He can. The thing is, he talks a lot. And that's what people don't like. Why do you think nobody likes Floyd Mayweather? I always say they don't like Floyd because people don't like people that stunt. People don't like people. Let me see. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you Adrian Broner, all right? Now, I, I like the brother. I want him to win. I do. I do. I do. Who remembers that? Keenan and Kel. I'm about to hit y'all with the Keenan and Kel. Kel, who loves orange soda? That's what I'm about to get into. I do. We don't need to. Oh, my boy just hit me up. All right, so I'm, I'm going to show y'all Adrian Broner, man. I, I don't know. I, I support the brother. I, I want him to win. I, I want to see him win. But the thing is, you can't... You see how much he was talking? Do you think if he loses, would you respect somebody like that? Do you want to see him... You want to see somebody like that continue to fight? I mean, come on, man. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. He talks a lot. But I'm going to show y'all his highlights. Y'all tell me what you think. He's nice. But they say Jesse Vargas is nice, too. Um, Broner lost three times. If he loses this time, guys, I'm telling you, he's done. That's it. He the same way y'all saw him talking now. He he did he, he did worse than this. Let's just I guess I'll say that he did worse than this in the past, and then he got rocked, and that's why people are tired of it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's what I'm, let me see. That, that's what. Okay, I'm about to show y'all right now. That's that's what that's what I'm trying to tell you. People are tired. Nobody wants to hear somebody talking nonsense. Saying this and that and this and that about they're gonna beat this guy up, beat this guy, and then when the time comes to do it, you get rocked. Nobody wants to see that. Don't nobody in their mama want to see that. All right, you ready? I'm gonna show y'all this. Adrian, the problem, Brona. Here we go. Here's his highlights. Tell me what y'all think, man. Yeah, they said it, 
but I said it first. So in a sense, I take these niggas first. That's why my fans in my show scream and take me to church. Uh, no suit and tie, but baby, I go to work. Don't do it for the money, but that's one of the perks. If y'all got the shovel, then I got the dirt. Cause burying rappers, what I mean when I say take them to church. And I'm all influential, cause I'm somewhat anti-governmental. When I feel like all I need is God, I don't really give a fuck if I offend you. I don't really think you know what I've been through, but it's something I'd rather not get into. Cause I can't put my life inside a pencil, when it's something I'd rather not pretend to. Be able to do when I ain't full of shrooms, couldn't paint when I paint, when the bass goes boom, and the lights go low, and they call it magic, like I'm rocking a cape in a room. Mental patient, escape from the room, now I'm out the basement, head straight for the moon, and it might be some black shit, but I feel like I'm radio acting. I know you guys couldn't hear me, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's why people fear Adrian the problem, brother. I know you guys couldn't hear me, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's why. Whoa, whoa, chill, 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 chill. So that's why people fear this gentleman. Um, but then there's some people that beat him. You know, I don't know if you guys want to see his loss. I'm here for it all day long. I can watch it. I mean, I love boxing. I love to watch people get their ass whooped and whoop ass. So it's up to you if you want me to show you some ass whooping on Adrian Brown. I, I can do that right now for you. It's not a problem for me. It's not. Really not a problem for me. But what, what that, that's what I was saying, guys. He got beat up, you know. And you see him killing people in the ring. But outside of the ring, he's a huge party guy. He's always with six, seven, eight women. Nothing's wrong with that. That's your personal life. Um, but he tends to put people down. He's very boastful, arrogant, a braggadocious. There's a lot of things about him so, that people don't like. And that's why people were rooting for him and praying on his downfall. And were hoping that he lost. And eventually he did. He got beat up real bad his first loss. And I can show you that. If you want me to show you a quick highlight of that, I can show you the destruction and downfall of Adrian Brown. After that, he lost. Uh, two more fights after that, and now he is back. And if he loses this one, he will be washed off the face of the earth. Now, there's a problem with Adrian Broner and a rapper that goes by the name of Takashi69. Would you like to see that? Has anyone ever heard of a rapper called Takashi69? He has rainbow hair. Has anyone heard of him? Okay. Takashi69 uh, versus Adrian Broner. Has, has anyone ever heard of him? He's a rapper. He has rainbow hair. Anyone heard of that guy? Has anyone heard of Takashi Six Nine? Um, th this is pretty funny to me. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I like this. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Now Takashi Six Nine is a rapper. He's from New York. He is complete trash. I'm just letting you know that right now, off the back. He's not somebody I listen to. So. My boy Devin's almost at the event. Never heard of him. You never heard of Takashi Six Nine? Are you serious? Rainbow hair, New York rapper, Gunmo. Yeah, uh, Blinky got the stiffy. Uh. You never heard that? Sounds all over the radio. It blew up. Y'all don't know who don't know what? Y'all don't know Takashi Six Nine? He's trash to me, but I will show you who I'm talking about. And I'm gonna show you his face. Him and Adrian Broner recently had a problem. Takashi has a problem with everyone. Broner's fights coming up. I don't know who started this problem, this altercation. But this is what happened. Now, guys, this is leading up to everything that I'm getting to. I want to show you guys, the, tell you guys the logistics of the situation before we get into the meat. All right. Let me show you. Let me show you. Never heard of him. Very shocked. Okay. Let me show you who Takashi 69 Agent Brony is. Agent Brony, you just saw the boxing guy. Talked a lot. 
Dra -ra -ra. Now I'm gonna show you the other dra -ra -ra -ra. I'm gonna show you him real quick. I'm gonna show you why people, this is gonna be crazy. I'm an old school rapper guy. That's my taste of music. That's why I never heard of it. Okay. Okay, Ernie, you old school. I like the most. So you like Nas? 24th anniversary. Nas, the 24th anniversary of his album just dropped. So you may know about that. 24th anniversary. Nas, man, he's dope. Nas is one of my favorite also. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, you ready? Here's this video. I warned you. That's all I'm going to say. I did warn you. Here we go. Say yes, Nas cool. So who you like? You talking about Nas cool? Nas is amazing. You crazy? I'm talking about some Nas cool. Okay, here we go. Yo, so Gotti just hit five million in one day. Six for six on fucking Billboard. You know what I'm saying? And for these pussy ass niggas, what's his name, man? Hey, you're fucking wrong. What Yo, bro, I got a hundred k Saturday. You lose the fight. Hundred fuck fucking k, man. Fuck it, man. Fuck it, man. Fuck it, man. Matter of fact, bet that two hundred. Make it two hundred. Make it two hundred k. Make it two hundred, blood. Make it two hundred, man. What's he talking about, man? Two hundred fucking k. Fuck this nigga talking about, blood. Man, what you talking about, man? It's new money, man. It's new money, blood. Fucking New York, blood. New money, man. It's my city, Earth. King New York. What you talking about, blood? Make it. What we making it two hundred k, man? He gonna get knocked out, blood. That's why Mayweather don't fuck with you, blood. Huh? Huh? We got enough money. You fucking clown, nigga. Ain't you better check in when you come to Brooklyn, nigga. Ain't you better check in, blood. Let me see this shit, right? Huh? Keep this shit, blood. Yeah, blood. Don't be comment no fuck shit under my pictures, boy. Talking about clown, nigga. The only thing got a red nose where I'm from is a pit bull, bitch ass, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. And 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 I get to New York, and I get to New York, New York this week, nigga. Motherfucker pull up on you, nigga. I ain't one of these rap niggas you be trolling with, nigga. Quit playing with me, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Yo, so Gotti just hit five million in one day. Six for six on fucking Billboard. You know what I'm saying? And for these pussy ass niggas, what's his name, man? Hey, you're fucking bro. What Yo, bro, I got a hundred k Saturday. You lose okay, the fight. So that's that. K, that's man. the hoodlum stuff that's been going on in boxing. That's what's going on. Cost six nine trash. That's the guy right here that's throwing money like he's crazy. Cost is whack. This guy's whack. What you talking about, man? It's new money, man. It's new money, blood. Fucking New York, blood. New money, man. What's he talking about, blood? Sweat that money. We making it two hundred k. He gonna get knocked out, blood. That's why Mayweather don't fuck with you, blood. He is a joke. So basically, that's what's going on in boxing. So Takashi Six Nine, the guy that you just saw with the red hat, throwing the money up and down, which is so, this so guy. So Gotti just hit five right million in one day. He bet Adrian Broner three hundred thousand dollars that if you lose, you pay me three hundred. Adrian Broner says, "Stop playing with me. I'll pull up on you." Blah 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 blah. All this street stuff, and we're gonna check you for talking that talk to us. So Adrian Broner bet him back another three hundred. So whoever wins that bet, if Adrian Broner loses, Takashi Six Nine gets six hundred thousand dollars altogether. You'll have his three plus Adrian's. So you're really winning three, but I mean together you'll have six. Um, Adrian Broner wins, he gets another three hundred thousand from Takashi plus his purse, his fight purse. And Adrian Broner is that confident that he's not going to lose. Um, so that's why this fight is a big deal. On top of that, there's some more beef in boxing. There's something between the Charlo brothers, which is some dangerous fighters. They're middleweights. They're twin brothers. Jamel and Jamal. Charlo. Uh, the Charlo brothers. They're twins. And they are very, very dangerous fighters. Uh, middleweight. And they don't like Adrian Broner. They don't want to be on his card. They don't want to talk to him. They don't like him. And they almost fought today at the weigh-in. The Charlo brothers and Adrian Broner almost fought today at the weigh-in. So there's a lot of problems. And they also don't like Javante Davis. It's a long story. I don't want to get into that. I'll be here for a very long time. So that's that. So the pro the question of today's show is, will Adrian Broner lose again? My opinion is, I don't know. I don't know. Now, why do I say I don't know? Is because Adrian Broner promised us several times before that I would win. I'm going to win. I'm going to beat Mike Garcia. I'm going to beat Sean Porter. I'm going to beat Marcos Madonna. He lost all three times. He's always joking around. The same routine he does outside of the ring, he continued to do after these losses. So that's why I'm dubious about whether or not he's going to win. Um, he may lose. He, he he does have more skill than Mikey Garcia and 
uh, Jesse Vargas, in my opinion, when you see them box. But then again, a basic fighter like Mikey Garcia, which is a boxer, um, and Jesse Vargas, same style, won. Mikey Garcia won and has the same style as Jesse Vargas, which Adrian Brown will be fighting this Saturday. So we will see who wins. I don't know. In my opinion, I hope Broner wins. Because once he loses this, that's it. It's over. He may need to hang it up and maybe make a comeback four years, two years from now. But I think he's pretty much done at this point if he loses. So let's hope he wins, man. Let's hope he wins. We'll see tomorrow. Am I rooting for him? If he loses, I'm like, damn, he's done. He's done. He can't talk no more. I feel kind of sad. Usually I don't feel sad for Adrian Broner because he talks so much nonsense. And he wants to be street and all that stuff. Just stick to boxing. Cut all that out. If you're not gangster, don't do that. If you're not made like that, you're not cut like that, don't do that. Stick to what you cut for. So if you know you're not about the streets, stop doing that. That's a lot of people. Everybody wants to act like a tough guy until they meet someone tougher. Or somebody that's really about that life and then they stop. So what my whole point is, guys, if you're not a dangerous man, don't try to be. And Adrian Broner does that. I'm not saying he's not a dangerous guy. He's a crazy guy. Yeah, but you have a boxing fight coming on. So you shouldn't be talking about pulling up on people. So will Adrian Broner win? I hope. He has the skill and the talent to do it. He says he's been training. It's a new Broner coming. This is what he said. That's what he said. He says a new Broner coming. We're going to see. We're going to see tomorrow night, man. That's why I'm getting my ice cream ready. I'm getting ready. I'm going to see. We got the Charlos fighting tomorrow. That's a big fight. We got Adrian Broner versus Jesse Vargas. And then we got Javante Davis, which is amazing. I can show you those highlights if you guys want to see. Javante Davis never lost, but he lost his title because he didn't make weight his last fight. Now he's coming back for the title. So there's a lot of stuff going down tomorrow. Apart from that, we have something else that's out. Now, I don't know if I show this. I, I'm pretty sure if I show this, my video will get blocked and taken down, which I'm already thinking it might because I, that video I showed with the song in it. So I don't know. But Equalizer 2 is coming out, guys. Does anyone know about that or know what Equalizer 2 is with Denzel Washington, which is my favorite actor? Does anyone know what Equalizer 2 is at all? Or the Equalizer? Has anyone ever heard of that? Any idea what I'm talking about? Equalizer 2 is coming out, though, guys. It's a movie. God damn, it's a movie. Um, that movie looks good. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I love the Equalizer. I think it's one of my favorite movies from Denzel Washington. Probably one of my favorite movies, period, man, honestly. And it's coming out. It's, it looks. It just looks really sick. I'm happy. I'm happy that that is coming out, Equalizer Part 2. And I really want to show you guys, but I know my video will get taken down if I show y'all. Um, maybe if I show you on my phone, nah, I, don't, I think it'll get taken down. I want to show you, but the trailer's out. If you didn't see Equalizer 2, the trailer, it is out now. Go and watch it. Equalizer 2 is coming out July 20th, if I'm correct. And, uh, what else is there? There's one more thing, but I'm trying to see what else to tell you about Equalizer. He's back. So Equalizer basically is about a normal civilian, a vigilante, kind of normal civilian that solves crimes. People call him. That's what Equalizer 1 was about. People call him when they have a problem. He didn't really get into it like that, but people call him when they have a problem. He helps people that are in trouble and he brutally kills people um, that are like predators, kind of, that are attacking others. He brutally kills them. Equalizer 2, Equalizer 1, he took out like the whole Russian mafia. Equalizer 2, he's going against the Turkish mafia, something like that, and they seem even more dangerous. So it's going to be a story. Plus, they kill his friend, which is cool. I mean, it's sad she died, but it's cool because now it's like he lost something. Part one, he didn't really lose anything. You know, usually when they do movies, the good guy never loses someone. They, they, they never let the the good guys, like, Alexis, hey, what's going on? Alexis Lynn Jones, what is going on? Um, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. We're talking about some movies. We just spoke about some boxing. And now we're talking about Equalizer 2. So, Equalizer 2, he loses his friend, and he's very brutal this time. Very, very brutal. Seems like he goes to Turkey to get the mob. And I wish I could show you guys the trailer. I really do, but I know they'll take this video down. But if you didn't see Equalizer 2, type it in YouTube, guys. Equalizer 2 trailer. Denzel Washington is coming out July 20th. And it's going to be one of those movies. It's, it's going to be a hit. I mean, I'm telling you right now, Equalizer 2 is going to be a hit. Amazing movie. Guys, give this video a thumbs up. Those of you that are just coming up, man, that are just coming in here, give this video a thumbs up. Like this video because we're talking tonight. We're having some fun. Tomorrow's a big night. It's the weekend. It's the freaking weekend, man. It's time to have some fun. You know, the whole R. Kelly joint. That's what we're on tonight. Well, we're not on the R. Kelly joint. I don't mess with little girls. But you get what I'm saying. The R. Kelly's line, Ignition. Make sure you get this video a thumbs up. Get this video a thumbs up. Those of you that are just coming in the room right now. But Equalizer 2 is coming out. I think it's going to be really, really, really good. Um, they got some other movies coming out, like Venom. That's coming out. I recently just saw Rampage with The Rock. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with that movie, Rampage. Um, 
The Rock did a good job. The Rock is a good actor, guys. Surprisingly. What do you guys think about Dwayne Johnson as an actor? And ladies, this does not include you. Don't. We're not talking about how hot he is. We're just talking about The Rock being an actor. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you so much. Alexis, welcome to the family. We hope to have you come back to another live stream after tonight. You seem like a really cool lady. You seem like a cool lady. I definitely want to have you come back. Um, so what do you guys, so ladies, gentlemen, what, what y'all think, what do y'all think about, what's my boy's name? Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. This is a guy that was a wrestler. Well, he wanted to be a football player, got injured, whatever. And then he became a wrestler. And now he's an actor. Do you think Dwayne Johnson's a good actor? And if so, would you hold him to the same standards as Denzel Washington? And yes, I'm flexing. Let's have a hit in the gym. I'm trying to see the muscle, my boy. So what, what do y'all think? Would you hold him to the same standards as Denzel Washington? I don't know. I don't know if I would do that, but Denzel Washington is way better than The Rock. I think The Rock's a good actor. Really good actor. But something about Denzel, man, and those high-level actors, Gary Oldman, those guys, they just make you feel it's different. They just make you feel different. Like, it's just, the movie doesn't, it's just surreal, man. I imagine being on set with them. You know what I mean? So, what do you guys think, though, of Dwayne Johnson, The Rock? Can he act? I think he did a good job. I saw Rampage. It was a little sad with the monkey thing di almost dying in the end. I don't want to ruin it for you guys. And if you want me to ruin it, I will. But right now, I won't until someone says otherwise. Um, it was a good movie, though. Rampage. Go check that out. It's in theaters. It's a good movie. Mm, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, King Kongish. I knew it was going to be King Kongish. That was pretty cool, though. I also saw the movie called The Quiet Place. Anybody heard of that movie? It's a horror film. Who's a horror fan in here? Who is a horror fan? Where are my horror fans at? It's called The Quiet Place. It's uh, out in theaters now. Um, he is pretty good. What are those fireballs for, uh, Alexis? Does that mean he's pretty hot? What is this? I don't know what that is. Anyway, love horror movies. I heard it was good. The Quiet Place was okay. We're gonna get to that. Love horror movies. Okay, so we'll talk about The Quiet Place. Yup, laugh aloud. Just kidding. Yeah, right, Alexis. You do think Dwayne Johnson is hot? Them tattoos he got. I'm getting tattoos too. All right, my boy just arrived, guys. Give me one second, guys. My boy just arrived. Let me text him on my phone, actually. Let me text him on my phone. Guys, go follow me on Instagram if you're not following me. Also, go follow me on Instagram. Here's my Instagram right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to keep you updated on everything I'm doing. That's one of my Instagrams, and here's my personal one. That'll tell you all about my YouTube and everything I'm to personally. The other one's my film one. Follow me on both. So, uh, like I was saying, Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, he's a good actor. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, is a good actor. I'm not going to lie. Yes, I do have Snapchat, guys. This is my Snapchat if anybody wants to follow me. That's my Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat right there. Follow me on Snapchat, Alexis. Dwayne Johnson. What do I think about The Rock? I like him. I like him more as an actor than a wrestler. I, I like The Rock all around. He's just a good dude. He seems like a good guy. Um, I know he bought his um, his maid a new car for her birthday. So just different acts of kindness that he you know, uh, tends to show. And I, I like The Rock, man. I'm not going to lie. I, I, like, I like him. I like Dwayne Johnson. More than... My boy Denzel acting? No. Denzel, I'll watch. I don't care if it's a cowboy movie, whatever. Which he did make a cowboy movie. That was horrible, but it was all right. But anyway, on to The Quiet Place. So The Quiet Place basically is a horror film about people in a movie and, and living in some type of environmental world where I think everyone died. You know, that kind of I am legend kind of thing. Um, you know, the whole world dies, that kind of thing. And I'm quite frankly, I'm getting sick of that. So anybody that's listening to this or thinking about making a movie like that where the whole world dies and it's just two people left, stop doing that shit. Excuse my language. Stop it. The thing's annoying. It's tiring. They did it as after I Am Legend. See, that's the thing with movies. When they make a movie that hits big, a whole bunch of producers and directors and writers start looking like, yo, we need to make a movie like this because that's what's selling right now. And people start copying. After I Am Legend came out, which was amazing. I don't know who saw I Am Legend with Will Smith. Amazing movie. Amazing freaking movie, I Am Legend with Will Smith. But after I Am Legend came out with Will Smith, then people started doing movies like World War Z. Has anyone heard of that with Brad Pitt? That was trash. That shit was whack. They did that. That, that I, didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. After World War Z, they came out with... Um, 
other movie quarantine there's another movie called quarantine has anyone heard of that quarantine Quarant- is it quarantine yeah I think it is a movie I think it's a movie called quarantine if I'm correct I think it is a movie called quarantine. yeah I think that quarantine one and two something like that but I I really like that I ain't gonna lie I, I didn't really like that quarantine was whack um but then it, you know what I'm saying they have movies like that um apart from that Hills Have Eyes is one of my favorite horror movies. Guys, if you haven't seen The Hills Have Eyes, go check that out. The Hills Have Eyes. Part one is better than two. And I don't know if they have three, but I know they have one and two. Part one is the best one to me. I don't know what y'all think. Has anyone seen Hills Have Eyes? And also Jeepers Creepers. Check that out. Part three, they came out with. It's on Netflix now. Jeepers Creepers 3 is out. It's not bad. It kind of sucks, but it's all right. But Hills Have Eyes, I love. And then I mentioned another movie after Hills Have Eyes. I forgot what movie I said. But Hills Have Eyes, part one is... My favorite one. The part I hate the most is when a girl gets raped. That thing, I mean, raping period, I can't take. I can't stand the thought of it. I get crazy. I just get, I, I can't, I can't. I can't take raping of women and all that stuff. And, and But when you see it in film, you can't escape it because you got to watch it. But Hills Advice Part 1, when he rapes the girl, that thing was horrible, yo. That thing's always stuck in my head. It scarred me. It scarred me when the guy, the girl got raped. So Hills Have Eyes is definitely one of my favorite movies, though. Just overall, really good movie. Yeah, it was sad, man. The girl was screaming. He killed the baby. Very brutal movie, man. But And I suppose, was it a real story? Something like that. I heard it was like a real story. The Hills Have Eyes. Has anyone ever heard of The Hills Have Eyes? That movie? Anyone in here have seen The Hills Have Eyes? You know another movie you guys need to see? Y'all may think it's whack. Silent Hill. Silent Hill, has anyone seen that? Silent Hill, that was pretty good. Yo, Silent Hill was pretty good. I'm not gonna, I kind of like that. I was like, this movie's pretty dope. Silent Hill was pretty nice, man. But, um, what was I saying? So The Quiet Place, basically. It's a movie where some humanity has been cleared out, clean, and it's like two, three people have two families. You know those kind of movies they started doing. But the different thing about this movie, what makes this movie very distinct from the other ones, is you got to shut your goddamn mouth. You can't talk. You got to stay quiet. Because if these creatures hear you, they hear from they hear by sound. That's how they react with, with by sound. Um, that's the only sense they have, sound and I guess touch. <sighs> and taste. They just don't have eyes. Let's just put it like that. They're missing like one of the most essential senses. is sight, right? Okay, my friend's telling me some bad news about this meeting. My man's just telling me this stuff is crazy. Have you seen Iowa? I have not seen Iowa. I should check that out. Is that a good movie? What is um what is it about? Alexis, tell me what it's about. But anyway, so like I was saying, Quiet Place. So basically in the movie, spoilers too, I don't give a damn. Y'all know how I get down. I'm, I'm ruining this movie. What is this? Oh. So basically. So basically. Basically, you gotta stay quiet. And um in the movie, no, don't watch it. It sucks. Good. I had a feeling because I'm like Iowa. That just sounds nasty. That movie sucks. So basically, you gotta stay quiet. And these creatures, like the little boy in the movie, he's part of the family. He drops his toy, his toy goes off, and the creatures hear it. The toy going off. And the dad, no one can scream. If you make a sound, they're coming to eat you, these creatures. The dad's looking at the boy, running after the boy, trying to grab his son and leave the toy. And the toy, is, they're going in slow motion. You see the son just standing there. Little boy, like six years old, holding the little electronic uh, airplane that's making a whole bunch of noise. This is one of the scenes in the movie, like the beginning scenes. And it's going, yo, 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 yo. And it creates big creatures. They're two times bigger than horses, man. And they're as fast as cheetahs. And you just hear the sound, yo, 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 on the truck. And the boy's looking around. And the dad's running in slow motion, trying to get his son. And that boy's just looking around, looking around, looking down his toys in slow motion. You see the son looking around. And the dad's running, running, like, damn, they're going to get my son. And nobody can scream. You see the dad's face, so his expression, his anger, and scree- and, and just his face is screaming. Like, you know what I mean? And he's just hoping that, that it's nothing happens to his son. He's running after him with the highest hope in his heart. And all of a sudden, he reaches out for son. He's almost there. Dude, I swear, this creature is big. Oh, my God. Comes like 200 miles per hour. Boom! Grabs the sun. Just, boom. you know, when a truck passes you on a highway, your car shakes, you hear that sound? Boom. That's what the sound that came out. It went, whoosh, and grabbed the sun and bit his neck and just took off. And you see the little toy hit the ground, hit the floor. 
the ground, sorry. And just crash it, and the dad goes. <sighs> the dad's like screaming inside, because if he screams, he's gonna eat him too. But anyway, overall, the movie's okay. Um, suspense was okay. It's it's okay, it's okay. You know, some, so I had to, you know, I had to lean off the seats a little bit at certain parts of the movie, so it's good. So if you haven't seen The Quiet Place and you're a horror fan, I would say go watch it. Uh, I saw a lot of movies, man, dude. What other movies are in theaters, guys? What else? Have you seen What Happens in Vegas? What the hell happens in Vegas? Is that a movie? No, I haven't seen it. Um, I saw another movie that sucked recently. What was it? Anyone heard of a movie called Truth or Dare? It's on. Th it's in theaters now. Truth or Dare. Has anyone heard of that movie? Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare. It's a horror film by Blumhouse Productions, which it's like makes every horror film now. They took over the horror industry. Um, Truth or Dare. Has anyone heard of it? That movie sucked. And had a feeling because it was like PG-13, you know. It's the best. It's really old, but it's great. Okay, Texas Chainsaw Massacre type, type of thing, Alexis. Is it that? I don't know. But anyway, that movie was okay. Truth or Dare was okay. Kind of sucked. College, PG-13 kind of middle school kind of movie. That That's the best thing, I would say. And it's a game. You play Truth or Dare, if, and, and if, if, you, if you don't answer, you die. If you choose one of them in Truth or Dare, you choose either one, and you don't complete the truth, you don't tell the truth, or you don't do the dare, you die. And it's a demon that asks you these questions that possesses people's body. It, it sucks, man. The movie was hard. I was like, this is so... I, I don't like this. And that's most of the movies I've seen recently. Rampage, Truth or Dare, Quiet Place. I saw Blockers with John Cena. That was trash. I saw a lot of movies, man. I've been seeing a lot, a lot. It's a love story with Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher, I hate. So I definitely don't want to watch that. But thank you so much, Kristen, for your suggestion. But I hate Ashton Kutcher. Um, only time I liked him when he was dating Demi Moore. Um, because he was a uh, young man dating an older woman and had some uh, had some swag if he was able to pull Demi. Because Demi's a real cutie. But, uh, well, back then, she was, actually, Demi more looked good now. But that's the only time I like Ashton Kutcher. When he was doing punk and all that, I didn't like him. It's a joke. I don't like Ashton Kutcher. So, next on him. Now, what other movie are you guys looking forward to? I'm about to close out this live, guys. I'm very thirsty, and I got to get to work. I got stuff to do for my movie. Yeah, right? Oh, boy. Exactly. I got stuff to do for my movie, so. I got stuff to do for my... I got stuff to do for my... Oh, my God. I love Ashton Kutcher. Why you like Ashton Kutcher, Alexis? Why the heck do you like Ashton Kutcher? He's a joke. He's a joke. All right, Jenna. Peace out. I'm about to leave, too. Like, in two minutes. Ashton Kutcher's a joke. But anyway, guys. I will be back online Sunday. Join me this Sunday. I will be back online this Sunday. Or, um... Yeah. He's hot. Okay. Yeah, I see, Alexis. You think he's hot. Hey, it's a different joke for different folks. Yeah, no. Ashton Kutcher... I think a lot of ladies, I had a picture of a really beautiful woman here. I don't know what happened to it. It's gone. But she was gorgeous. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you this Sunday. Salute. Have a wonderful Friday. Thank you so much for joining. Alexis, I hope you join the family. I hope you subscribe. Um, I like having you. It's really cool. Uh, Jenna likes you. So, if Jenna likes you, I like you. Uh, Jenna is my one of my best friends here. So, I'll catch you guys later on. I am out of here. I'm about to get to work for my film. Rewatches for those that came in late. Bye, I'll be back. Thank you, Alexis. Welcome to the family. Subscribe. And we're about to do this big. New videos coming out. I forgot to tell you that. Vlogs. I'm working on all that stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to hire an editor soon. So I don't have to do any of this anymore. I'm get an editor so we get more episodes out to you sooner. Peace. Out of here. Let's go.